Greetings from Costa Rica and welcome to Matt Vent Day 16. I am joined by Tim Ellis. Tim has been a favorite client and friend of mine for years now. I think you originally bought from me and Tamarindo in... Yes. 2019? Uh-huh. 2019. Tim now has a second home here in Guanacaste that happens to be one of the most unique Costa Rica homes I've ever seen. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and say that in 2023, this is the single most interesting property that I've seen because it combines a location that is central to everything with a property and a feel like you're absolutely just in the jungle. We'll get to that in just a second. Tim, first of all, give us a little background on yourself and what the heck you're doing in Costa Rica. Sure, sure. I'm a digital nomad, so I uh, moved down here. I'm doing computers here. I was doing that in Tamarindo for a few years, and then, yeah, I picked up this place out in the woods and hooked it up with lots and lots of high-powered uh, fiber optic. Yeah, fiber optic uh -huh. internet, and this is what I call my office. So when I'm working, I, I'm here. This yeah. is what I do. It's all good. Well, and it's, it's ironic that you have this perfect location because Tim's not here with kids. It's him and his wife. They're enjoying this property together, but the location is super prime for families. Three minutes in that direction, you have the top in-demand private school in Guanacaste for expats. Ten in the, actually, another 10 in that direction, you've got number two. Uh, I'm talking about the really big private schools here, CREA, La Paz, Journeys in that direction, Educarte. We're in this huge expat corridor, but somehow you found, what, something like two acres here in the absolute wilderness. Right, yes. And it, I, when I got it, it was just owned by some people that hadn't maintained it. So the, that's kind of how I think I was able to get it. You know, I wandered in, I saw the potential, but uh, yeah, they were not maintaining it. So I basically re renovated the entire house, fixed up the property, put in retaining walls so that my driveway doesn't slide into the creek and that kind of stuff. And I think that's how I was lucky enough to get it here because, yeah, it's super central. And you forgot to mention the Flamingo Marina that's just opening up. And oh, that's Oh, yeah, nice. I know. You're, <laughs> you're six minutes down the road from that. But really, there's, you don't have another neighboring house down, you know, down 300 yards in this direction, or one of the, I'm disoriented up here on your patio, you've got a major highway that connects Reserva Conchal, our largest, you know, golf course exclusive community in the area, uh, right down to the marina and the rest mm -hmm. of the expat corridor, yet you don't have neighbors, you are living happily in the woods here. Yep. Let's talk a little bit about what makes the house special. This elevated roof here, tell us uh, about the house as it was when you bought it and why you went up with the roof. Yeah, so pretty simply the roof was having problems. It was built wrong. The rain was going into the house, so we had to replace the roof. And so we pulled the roof off, and when I pulled the roof off, I was like, instead of just putting the new roof straight down on, let's just build up a frame around it, and that way I can get a, an atrium of sorts, something that will let in the light. So. The center of the house, like I never have to turn on lights in there. It's bright, it is mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, and so yeah, we built that up to let all the light in. We painted it all white so that this, we get indirect light and that way we don't have to get all the direct sunlight. So it keeps yeah. it less hot in there. Um, and so yeah, we just built that up to have it just be beautiful and nice. And inside, I love the high ceilings. So I think we have something like 20 foot ceilings, Yep. very tall ceilings. And then my wife, she took care of like adding in all the accents, putting in the ceiling fans and deciding on this color scheme, a very simple black and white scheme, which just really modern and elegant. I love it. Yeah, absolutely. No, there's actually a debate sec going on in the comment section of another video where I was talking about how much I love clean, modern, white, brown, you know, white, wood and black. And, you know, people saying, oh, I like Spanish colonial and brown and old and, you know, sort of warmer, but I, you know, you mentioned the light. I really think your atrium is a huge feature because of the airflow as well. Mm -hmm. They have fans pulling air up through what is completely now an open ceiling into this atrium area. 
They've got bars over it so it's all secure. No one could ever kind of come through that. Mm -hmm. But you can have constant airflow being pulled through the house. And that is an incredibly important feature for a Costa Rica home here. Imagine how long did the full project from your move-in date until you were remodeled and happy. Uh, what kind of timeline are we talking? Well, it was about two and a half years, but there was a space in there where we weren't doing work. So I would say from the point where we really started doing work till we finished was probably about a year and a half. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. No, you, you hear about timelines like that, and with the complexity of this job, you know, Tim didn't just take off the old roof and put on a new one. You lifted walls in Correct. order to elevate the exterior roof line even, didn't you? Right. We just brought up the extra height all around, and then, yeah, we also redid a whole bunch of stuff. So we put in this whole deck area here with the stairs going down and, and then we also rent put in some retaining walls as I mentioned earlier. That was a that was a pretty big project. So yeah, yeah. all that kind of adds up to a good year and a half. Actually it may be a little over a year and a half. It might be just short of two years of actual effort. Yeah. Um, but you know about six months of it, we were just living in the old place. And it was definitely a Spanish colonial kind of thing before it was yellow and dark green and and you'll see, if you look in the inside, you'll see arched, arched doorways here and there. And yeah. so you get the sense of what the original feel was. And we tried to keep that as much as possible, but it, it, it makes it sort of a hybrid. Like I definitely think you've got to enjoy like a hybrid style. It's brand new modern architecture with hints of Spanish colonial, like here yeah. and there. And you're like, oh, that's interesting. Amazing. Yeah. Well, and <clears throat> so Tim has an incredibly unique property because you do not find single family homes for sale near all of these schools with large lots that don't cost you two or three million dollars. If I can convince Tim to sell this property, I am absolutely gonna do it because I have clients right now who want to be close to either Crea or La Paz. They don't want to be in a gated community they don't want to live on top of their neighbors. They want privacy, which that alone, privacy is almost impossible to find in this area because of the expat development. Can I take the well with me if I sell it? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. There's a well here. There's a guest house that's one bedroom, one bath. Correct. Your main home is three bedroom, three bath. Looking three bedroom, down, three and a half bath. Ah, three and a half bath, absolutely. And you've got gardens downstairs, the mm. pool, this incredible deck where we have a view looking out over a picturesque Costa Rica value. Value, oh my gosh. Costa Rica Valley. Valley, <laughs> I know, that's when real estate takes over your mind. Anyhow, <laughs> this is extremely unique, and I'm sure there are families out there who would love to take advantage of this location and buy your property if you become interested in selling it. It's been so much fun celebrating one day of Matt Fent with Tim, getting back to see him. Uh, he's been on my channel before. If you want to see updates, be sure to subscribe and hit that notifications bell for our last eight days of Matt Vent. Can you believe we're almost there? Eight more days. <laughs> Thanks for watching, folks.